Previously on Quantum Break. Paul. Stop! Come back, goddammit! Ah! I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that could stop the fracture. The second time machine. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. We can't fix the machine, but I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The Monarch scientist. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. We didn't come this far to get derailed now. You talk to him, find out what he knows, then get rid of him. Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were gonna kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder, you were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? It's all we needed. Thanks for showing up. Here, I thought this was gonna be a rescue. Yeah, there's a story here. You know a guy called Hatch? Serene's right-hand man. He was here. He gave me this big speech about how he wants to take down Paul. I hope you said no. I didn't trust him for a second. He set me loose anyways, told me to wait for an opening. I just gave you one. Appreciate it. What's it look like out there? I think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation? It's like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, weenie. Oh, well, in that case... My cover isn't gonna survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. Powers were growing. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. Who the hell designs these doors? Okay, we're gonna have to move faster to get. Beth, I'm clear. What's next? You'll see a radar tower up ahead. Alright. Oh, you could have warned me about that one, Beth. Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? I need to get across somehow. You go. Uh. All right. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to explain. 
explain the dry dock thing to the public. Hey, it was just our people there. Contact! Weapons free! It's over. Time felt broken here. The timeline of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. I've been thinking. Monarch projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Amaral... You'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist troopers have the stutterproof gear. I bet Dr. Amaral would have that in her office, too. Like I'll keep an eye out. See if I grab it for yeah. you. It's locked up tight now. I hope they put two in the back of his head. Is it true he's got some time? Of course. Get it out the gear. Yeah, it's true. That freaks one dangerous motherfucker. I heard Hatch paid him a personal visit. Yeah? Shit! Great, another one. the radar tower. Where's the lab? Blow your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Oh, seriously? What is this, a Bond villain lair? You have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Fuck. Tonight marks a momentous occasion for years we have been building towards this day. Years of planning, developing, is streaming. training, 
For it's me, good monarch the audience marks the end of a 17 year journey, and today we emerge from the shadows. We do so accepting great responsibility. I present to you. Beth, I'm about to take the elevator. I see Paul's still fond of his own voice. Yeah, he's talking about his survival plan. Crowd's eating it up. Dr. Hammerall's office. Looks like that's one level up. The device drained my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. to kill me because he didn't want to put his plan at risk. But seeing the scale of that facility, I started realizing just how deep that plan went. It made me wonder. Time was ending. What was it all for?
What the fuck is that? Where's Amron's office? It was clear that Monarch had been building the Chronon technology for years. They were prepared for the fracture. None of it would have been possible without the CFR. Guessing this isn't the usual employee route. <laughs> Dr. Amaral's office must be close. Nobody here knows about the mess I made on the way in. Nice job, Beth. Amaral's office. Yeah, Amaral had tried to warn Paul. The end of time was approaching quickly. Less than 24 hours away. Mr. Serene believed it would take years to run its course. Admittedly, he was wrong. That there looks like what Beth wanted. Oh, shit. Amaral's at the party. The stutter won't last. I better find a way out of here and get to the party.
quite expensive piece of tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. I had to get it to her at the party before it was too late. to do was make it through the garage. Seems simple enough. locked everything down. Maybe I can turn it off. Talking about. Beth, I got that device for you, but Dr. Amaral's at the party. Yeah, I just spotted her. Wanna be my date? Yeah, save me that cocktail, Weenie. I'll make my way there. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's the last of them. coordinates for Joyce ASAP. Monarch Actual is moving in to intercept. This is Home Guard 5. Just spotted him entering the tunnel system outside the party grounds. Beth? I could see the mansion where the gala was. I had to find a way to get there. I could see the energy field of another Monarch Chronon dampener. It would drain my powers. I'd have to find a way to shut it off. <gasps>
You were headed for the party. What was your plan? I needed to get to Dr. Amaral before the stutter ended and Monarch found out I was coming. should be here somewhere. Need to get to her before the stutter ends. Mr. Serene's speech had been a success. The world was falling apart, but the wine and cheese crowd was enjoying their little goddamn soiree. We grab her. There's a boat dock right outside the mansion. Okay, we can make that work. Jack, 
Get her moving before time kicks back in and that drone turns us into paste. Let's get to it, Doc. We need your expertise. No. I'm not asking.
need to open that gate. What about you? You're clear. Go. I can swing by go. and... No. Just go. We went to all this trouble to grab her. Beth, I'm counting on you to keep her alive. I'll make my own way out. My plan was simple. There was a bridge to the mainland. I'd fight my way through anything Monarch would throw at me and then steal a car, drive it back to the swimming pool. Just remember, we need your ass alive for the next part. We'll see how it shakes out. Beth and Dr. Am are all clear, it was time for me to get gone. For that, I needed wheels. Valet parking. A love... This thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. 
Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, is your illness talking? I'm on your side. Ugh. Ugh. Easy, you're... They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. And she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. And then she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Sophia's data's always been good. I'll trust her judgment. We need to analyze these figures and make final preparations to activate the lifeboat protocol at once. Fine. I'll take the laptop to the science department. No, I think I'll do that myself. I see. Sir? Put people on Mr. Hatch. I want constant eyes on him. Yes, sir. You got it. We pulled some images from the security cameras. We've identified Joyce's accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. Her. My God, she's been with us all along. She's working with Jack. Where is she now? Unknown. But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. She can't be killed. Not yet. Find her. And whatever Mr. Hatch does, I want to know about it. Don't screw this up. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started.
she'd been here the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one.